common ion effect. If you take a, a hydrofluoric acid, which is a weak acid, it dissociates into H plus and the F negative ions, the dissociation constant of the HF is 7.2 into 10 power negative 4. Now, see if I am, I'm going to add in the solution something which has uh, a common ion. If I add anything, any substance, an acid or a salt, which has a common ion with, the, with this system means uh, I'm going to add anything which is common, which has a common one of the ion, either H plus 2 or the fluoride ion. So let's uh, see what is going to happen. If I will add a sodium fluoride, NaF, sodium fluoride is strong, uh, you know, electrolyte, it dissociates into Na positive and the F negative ion. Now, when you add the sodium fluoride, so in the in this solution now you will have sodium ions, so you will have fluoride ions, and you will have hydrogen ions and the fluoride ions, right? So now by adding the sodium fluoride, actually now we have something common, which is a fluoride here, right? This salt that I am going to add to the HF, okay, has a has one of the ions as a common to the HF, right? Which is fluoride. Now we know that as per the Lee-Shetley's principle. We have an equilibrium and if you make any stress, so it will try to relieve that stress, correct? If you make any change, the equilibrium as per the, as per the Lee Shetley's principle says that it will try to relieve that, you know, undo the change. So HF, which is actually under equilibrium with the H plus ions and the fluoride ions, which is a weak acid, when I'm adding a salt to the sodium fluoride in it, the fluoride ion concentration will increase and now the equilibrium, as per the Lee Shetley's principle, must shift in the backward direction. Correct? It will shift in the backward direction. So the backward reaction will become faster here. So it can relieve this, you know, uh, stress uh, when the backward direction is favored. Means that the hydrogen ion and the fluoride ions uh, they will combine and form the HF. So in other words, I can say the dissociation of the HF will decrease. Correct? the dissociation of the HF will decrease. Now, this process, you know, in which we are actually adding a sodium fluoride and that actually increases the fluoride ion concentration, which ultimately decreases the dissociation of the hydrogen fluoride is what we call as a common ion effect, okay? So the shift in the equilibrium, the shift in the equilibrium position that occurs because of the addition of an ion already involved in the equilibrium is called as a common ion effect. So I'm adding here the fluoride, fluoride ion which actually is common here in the two salts here. Now it will shift the equilibrium in the left direction means the dissociation decreases. So this decrease in the dissociation on account of the addition of, an, of, an, uh, of a common ion is called as a common ion effect. So we can apply the same thing for other weak electrolytes, like we have an acetic acid. Acetic acid, we know that it dissociates partially and it's always in equilibrium when you put it in the water. So it is actually in the equilibrium with H plus ions and the acetate ion, CH3CO negative. Now, you can decrease the dissociation here of the weak acid by, add, by adding anything which is common, correct? So if I add, suppose, in this mixture, if I add anything which contains H plus ion or anything which contains the acetate ion. So that will definitely shift the equilibrium in the backward direction. So the dissociation of the weak acid will decrease. And this is another example of a common ion effect. Correct? So common ion, in, in, in a common ion effect, what we see? We see that the, the, you know, the dissociation of a weak electrolyte, weak acid or a weak base that suppresses, that decreases on account of adding a common ion in the mixture. Right. So we can take one more example of the ammonium hydroxide, NH4OH. Ammonium hydroxide is a weak base and dissociates into NH4 positive and the hydroxide ions. Now we can here decrease the dissociation of this ammonium hydroxide by adding either the ammonium chloride salt because it has ammonium ion here, right? So you can you know, shift the equilibrium, the equilibrium will shift in the backward direction, the dissociation of the ammonium hydroxide will decrease. Or we can also add some small amount of the sodium hydroxide also. So the sodium hydroxide ion, you know, uh, sodium hydroxide will 
increase the hydroxide ion concentration therefore it will again you know shift the equilibrium in the backward direction so again the uh, you know this uh, dissociation of the ammonium hydroxide will decrease hope you got it thanks for watching the video bye for now